Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're going to take Edge to task and we're going to get rid of that pesky Bing search engine once and for all. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be taking Edge to task and getting rid of the Bing search engine from within Edge. Edge itself actually is a pretty decent browser, but unfortunately Microsoft have, uh, yeah, obliterated it essentially with the Bing search engine, which to me, I find pretty much useless. The search results aren't particularly good. Some people swear by it and find it absolutely fine, but I really do find that a lot of the results that comes up with Bing generally are kind of malware or spam or some kind of crazy stuff that I just don't need in my life. So let's get rid of it once and for all. So on our Windows 10 PC, we're gonna go ahead and open up our Edge search engine. And I've already got mine set, so it goes to google.com as my first page. Now, one of the first bugbears of this is if I click on a new tab, immediately it takes me back to Bing, where I just don't want to be. Yes, it's all well and good, and it's quite handy if you want to use the bits on the side to get into your apps if you've got a 365 account. Yeah, all well and good, but I don't want it. I want the flexibility to choose what I want to choose. So let's address some of the other issues first of all and go about how to change some of the default settings. So we'll close this tab. And first of all, we want to go into this top right hand corner on the three dots and we want to change our search engine, sort of our default page, or this part anyway. So let's go into settings, and we can go into privacy, search, and services, and scroll down through until we find at the bottom here, address bar and search. So clicking on this brings up some more options, and you've got the search engine used in the address bar. So the address bar is this section at the top, so if you're used to searching your items in this top area, then this is the one you want to change. I've got mine set to Google, which is the default, so literally you can just click on the down arrow and choose whichever. The default normally is Bing, as you can see it's recommended, but, well, not by me it isn't. So Google is the one that I'm gonna choose for this one. And the next bit is to search on new tab, use this search box or address bar. So this is where it gets interesting. So if we open up a new tab now, if we search in the search bar here, then this will be essentially a Bing search. If we search from the bar at the top, then this will be a Google search. Now for a lot of people, that's a real pain in the backside because you start searching here and then you get all kinds of weird search. So if we go back to our settings and we change this. So search box is the recommended, again, because it goes back to Bing, but we don't want that. So we're gonna choose address bar. So now when we go into our new tab, when we open one, as soon as we start typing here, it will move to the top. So type in Mike from Mike's Unboxing and it goes up to the top as it would in Google Chrome. So that's one way of getting around it, but it really is still a bit of a pain in the backside to have this search engine here and this whole window. I really don't want it, it's, uh, it's not what I want. I want to use Microsoft Edge, but I want to use it as Google. I think a lot of you probably do. So a way of doing that is to click on the three dots and we'll go to extensions. And what we need to do is search for a tab redirect. So type in tab, then redirect, and you can see if there's any that are currently installed. If there's not, you can click on get extensions from Microsoft Edge, and there's tons and tons of extensions you can add on here. So let's try tab, redirect, and there's a few options available. There's one down here, tab reloader, etc. So let's just choose tab direct or tab redirect even. So a nice simple one to use is this one, tab redirect by Marcus Carey. It works really well, really easy. It's only got one star, but that's because it is super, super basic and basically just redirects you to Google itself. If you wanna actually change it a little bit more, so you've got a little bit more customization, then you can use this one, the custom new tab URL. So let's use the custom new tab URL and we'll add that extension. And then we have to turn on this extension. And there's more details about why that happens here. So if you want to check on why does Microsoft Edge turn off extensions I've installed, you can go through and read all through that. But we're not particularly interested in that at the moment. So let's go back to our extensions. And there's our custom new tab URL. So we can go into the details now, or we can just enable it. So let's go into details. So this basically tells you what it does. So simply set the URL you want. So new tabs to load and they'll just load it. That's it. And also you can sync this in the cloud. 
Um, you can allow in private, allow access to file URLs, all that kind of stuff if you want to. So we'll choose that and we'll choose that and then we'll enable it. So now that is enabled. So in theory now, if we open up a new tab, it should go straight to wherever we choose. And the extension is actually there at the top. So there's our extension. So we can click on that and it's going to extension options, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash google.co.uk. Hit save. Ah, there we go, much better. So you do need to make sure you add the HTTPS colon, even though it isn't normally shown on a lot of sites these days, you probably could get away with www, but HTTPS is gonna be the way to go. So if we close all these down again, open up Edge. So now we've got our Chrome search, and we've got it at the top there. And if we choose to open a new tab, like you would in Google Chrome, we now get another Google page, which is awesome. Now you can, if you want to, you can set this to whatever you want, um, MSN, BC, whatever the case may be, you choose what you want in there, but that is the whole point. Edge and Chrome, based on the Chromium browser, are supposed to be user configurable. So this basically allows you to do whatever you want. Uh, make sure when you've done it, that you click on keep changes as well, so that'll keep the changes saved. And this also, because it's cloud synced, if you've got logged in with your, uh, your account onto another computer, it will work on there, so you don't have to do this on every computer. Or alternately, if you do want to have it just on one computer, rather than all of them, you can choose not to do cloud save. So yeah, pretty good, does what it needs to do. Okay, so there you go, there is a relatively straightforward way of changing your default actions within the, I nearly said Google Edge, within the Microsoft Edge browser to make it much, much more like Chrome. Having those new tabs come up as a Google browser or your choice of browser or your choice of page even is much, much more preferable in my personal opinion. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on it. So anyway, there you go. There is how to uh, take a little bit more control of Microsoft Edge. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.